Hello, in today's video we're gonna take this cage cube apart and put it back together. I'll put the timestamps and product link in the description if you would like to have a look. Let's take it apart. There are these moving parts which you need to move into the position like so. And now you just remove it like so. Um, the bottom parts are also moving, so let's just spin this one. This one also. Okay, so as you can see, in total, we've got 12 parts. It's four of these. And eight of these. Okay, let's put it back together. For that, we need these two parts and we put them into the position like so. And then we take the other two parts and we put them in the position like so. I'll just move it over here. Then we take the other two parts and we take these two. We put them into the position like so. Make sure that uh, the surface, when you'll put the first part, well, the first set of part and the second set of parts, so that the surface would be flat. What we do next, we take these two parts and we, we will need to put them into um, the position like so. But make sure that this wood, these two parts should look inside of the cube. So let's put the first one. We'll do the same with the second one. 
and we'll do the same with the upper two. In this case, as you can see, this wood, it looks inside of the cube. I wish I had a third hand because it's pretty hard to do. So we've done it and now what we're gonna do, we're gonna lock it by just spinning these two bottom parts. And as you can see, our first set of parts is actually locked. Now what, what we do? We take our first part, first set, set of parts that we've done and we put it inside of the cube. Now the next step is to put the last part into this position and just move it a bit. And now what you do, you just lock the first one like so and you do the same with the second one. And here it is. We've managed to take it apart and put it back together. If you found the content useful, don't forget to like the video. For you, it's just a fraction of a second, and for us, it's a huge motivation on creating new content. And you can also subscribe to the channel in order not to miss any of the interesting videos we are gonna publish. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.